from the footballguys.com. It's week 16, fantasy football. Your playoffs are here. You need the answers from Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com. Keep them coming in, 609 403 0973. Jeff, before we go, are you a fan of the playoff form, uh, uh, the playoff leagues, or the leagues that go straight to the end, best record wins it all? I'm more of uh, I'm more of the playoff guy. I, I can see uh, an advantage to both, but I think that uh, I, I kind of like the bigger leagues where you put like the top teams that win like the first 11 or 12 weeks, the top three or four teams, put them into a total points pool and then give big prizes to that. All right. All right. Here we go. You ready? That's I'm ready. That's a question, by the way, Jeff, from a guy who doesn't make the playoffs often. And we don't have playoffs in my league. <laughs> exactly. My because you probably don't playoffs. make the playoffs. Now, I have a dynasty league that we do playoffs. I don't like the playoff league because I don't like, like, not having fantasy. Like, if I get eliminated, there's, like, a couple of weeks now where I don't have fantasy football. Yeah, that's the oh, nature well. of a tournament. You know? There are solutions for that. Daily and, leagues, and right? Get- well, you can you can have a, uh, a the bottom six teams that don't make the playoffs. They can play for the first or second pick. Yeah, we year. do that in our league, but eh, that's that's all right. No, you lose a <laughs> consolation game. That's pretty bad to the ego, man. I don't know about you. Well, we play for the first pick, right? Like, do we have a consolation bracket, and the winner of that tournament gets the first pick in the draft? But in the dynasty league, the first pick in the draft sometimes it's like you know, oh, like this year was sparkly. But all right, let's get into some questions for these people out there. I want to get uh, some big names. All right, Drew Brees is disappointed the last couple of weeks. Is there any concern in the champ? You're in your championship game. Are you playing Drew Brees? Got to right. Uh-huh. I think you do. I think he's, he, we have him listed as a top 10 quarterback. I think he's a solid play against Pittsburgh. That game is going to be – that is one of two teams, uh, two games that has a point total over 50 points this week. So, you have Steelers and Saints, and you've got Seattle, Kansas City, both the high totals this week. All right. Mahomes did did not have a great game last week, too. If you if you were in your semifinals and you had Breeze or Mahomes, you might have lost. You, those guys carried you to that game. You might have lost, though. So, are you feeling okay? you got to feel okay with Mahomes, though, right? Uh, more often than not, he carries at through. Seattle. That's a tough there. spot. Yeah, it is. But I think that that offense goes through there, either running, uh, uh, running short passes or long passes. Mahomes is your guy. All right, let's go to. I'm going to ask you about Deshaun Watson. He's playing at Philadelphia. Yeah, I circled him. I think that uh, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm actually, uh, you know, I'm, I grew up and he's an Eagles fan, but I think the Texans are going to win this game just because of their run defense. The Eagles are trying to run the ball, have a more balanced offense, but. Deshaun Watson, if he gets rid of the ball quickly and doesn't feel the pressure as much, he could have a good game. It really comes down to the front four and the blitz schemes from the Eagles. Championship on the line. Tom Brady, an all-time fantasy quarterback. But what about 2018? I think uh, I think he's a solid play. He's a, he's a borderline quarterback one. But the worry in that game is it could be a blow and they run the ball more than, more than they pass. Phillip Rivers, MVP candidate. Playing Baltimore. Is this a good week to use him? No, it's not against the Ravens. I actually think the Ravens could upset the Chargers, and I like both teams this year. Uh, I, I think Rivers is going to have struggle against one of the top defenses out there. I think he's a top 20 quarterback, but not a top 10. Jameis Winston usually puts up big points, big numbers at Dallas. Do you feel comfortable using him in a championship? Com- comfortable, yes. Uh, well, comfortable, no, actually. I'm sorry. But uh, if I have to play him, I'm, I'm okay with it. He's, he's QB 15 for us this week. Uh, let's get another quarterback out there for you. What about Baker Mayfield? He's blitzed the Bengals. I mean, come on. Are we using the rookie in a championship week? Well, I'm actually looking at him. He's actually above both Winston and Rivers this week on our list. Wow. He's, he's, got, he's number one in the air yards. He's putting up – he's sort of uh, a touchdown in every game that he started – He's, his his floor is much higher than you think it is. The Cleveland, they're actually pushing. They may not make the playoffs. They could they could finish with a winning record. Uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, fantasy football expert all season long. I see the questions pouring in for the championship. Send us a text message with your fantasy football questions, 609-403-0973. Let's look at some running backs here. Uh, Nick Chubb against Cincinnati. We just talked about his teammate, Baker Mayfield. Nick Chubb, rookie, you betting on him? He's a top ten running back this week against that Bengals defense that just can't seem to stop anyone. I think Chubb gets a uh, hundred yards and a touchdown this week. Uh, last week, if you were a Philip Lindsay owner on a Saturday night, he disappointed you. He's been great all year, so you going back to Philip Lindsay? 
I think you do. Oakland defense has not been there very good. They, they've they been ha- hanging with some teams for a while, but eventually they just break down. Uh, that's a rough spot on Christmas Eve for the Denver on the road, but and they're banged up with that. Emmanuel Sanders now out. They have to run the ball. They have to use the short running game and the short passing game. Lindsay's part of both. Uh, Derek Hendry has been bananas the last couple of weeks. He's playing Washington. Is he a guy that can lead you to a title? I think he can. I think that's what Tennessee's hoping to. They can lead them to the playoffs. Tennessee has to win out to make that play-in game a reality with the Colts in Week 17. Dalvin Cook, he had been a disappearing act. Did you see enough from the new offensive coordinator out there uh, to make you feel, uh, Stefanski, Kevin Stefanski, to make you feel comfortable with Dalvin Cook in the championship? Yeah, we have him as a running back one. I liked him all year. He's finally healthy. They're finally using him the right way, getting him uh, the speed on the outside. They are kind of uh, – they're mixing in you know, their second running back, which is a little bit of a concern when uh, Latavius Murray's out there. But uh, I think that Cook is a, a running back one this week against Detroit, that team that's really pretty much uh, given up for the year. Aaron Jones, out for the year. Do you feel comfortable going to Jamal Williams in this spot? Well, the Green Bay game is one of two games this week that are being Denver-Oakland that has nothing at stake. So that's a little concerning for me, but I think he's a solid running back, too, with a little bit of upside. Uh, Green Bay has to do something. It could be wet in Jersey. Uh, I I like Jamal Williams as a running back, too. He probably makes the starting roster. Jeff Pesquino, footballguys.com, answering your Week 16 fantasy football questions. Keep texting them in, 609 403 0973. We will get to your listener questions coming up in just a moment here. But first, let's go to some wide receivers. And before also, Jeff will give us some sleepers, some you know guys under the radar, and some of his favorite plays uh, from the weekend. I want to go to Alshon Jeffrey. I mean, last week, does Nick Foles make you want to play Alshon? Uh, I think it's going to be a, a, a bang up way. I guess that Houston's defense is more against the rush than the pass. I think Austin Jeffrey can be very active, as is Zach Ertz. All right. Uh, what about you go, uh, you go, okay, Amari Cooper. He's been a guy I traded for, had some big games. You're in your championship week. You feeling big with Amari Cooper this week? I guess Tampa Bay, yes, absolutely. Tampa Bay is one of the worst secondaries in the league, bad defense. Dallas has things to play for. Dallas has not secured a playoff spot or even the division yet. Cooper's a wide receiver one this week. All right. He likes him as a wide receiver one. All right. Uh, let me go. Uh, you're looking at a situation, uh, you know, we talked about Philly, you know, uh, coming in. Uh, Hopkins coming in this week. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins, the Eagles secondary in shambles, but they've gotten better. So is Hopkins a big play this week? I think so. Uh, the, the, it comes down for the, for the pass rush for the Eagles. If they can get pressure on Watson, and Watson has been known to scramble and make some mis- mistakes, that could be the difference. But if it's a clean pocket and they can't provide uh, pressure, I think Hopkins and Demarius Thomas are going to have really good afternoons. All right, we got to get to – all right, so this is going to be difficult here because all of a sudden we have no internet in here. So all of the text message questions coming to our text board are kind of captured – on my computer, you have internet? Yeah. I have no internet here. No service available, no service available, not connected. Why are you on the jetpack? Uh, because I couldn't connect. Oh, here we go. It just came back here. It just came back. It saved our segment here so that we can get these listener questions out to Jeff Pasquino from the footballguys.com. So let me – actually, I got internet on my phone, but not anywhere else. So let me pull up these questions. All right, here we go. Uh, Robbie Anderson, should I play him? Absolutely. He's a wide receiver, too, this week, seeing a lot of targets. Uh, he's a wide receiver one for the Jets, wide receiver two in fantasy this week. Will Damian Williams still be a good start? I think he is. Uh, Kansas City has something to play for. They're not cl- they haven't clinched. They haven't won the division. Um, Seattle is a tough defense, but I think he's a, a Damian Williams is a solid flex option, especially in PPR. Travis, Kelsey, or Thomas? Mike Thomas, uh, New Orleans. Michael Thomas. Um, ooh, tough call. And both, both those guys are solid top five options. Kelsey is a number one. Seattle, I think, is a little bit weaker on the inside, so I think Kelsey's the, the top play. Uh, Jeff, thanks for all your help this year. Championship game, PPR, need two. Elijah McGuire, Jarvis Landry, Robert Woods, OBJ, if he plays. Um, I think Landry. Um, who was the third one? Third one in that mix was Elijah yeah, McGuire. McGuire, Jarvis Landry, Robert Woods, OBJ. Uh, Robert Woods and I think Jarvis Landry and PPR. All right. Uh, what about 
Uh, Mike Williams or Demarius Thomas, PPR, Super Bowl on the line. Mike Williams is a huge part of that offense right now, but it's a Baltimore defense. It's That's a tougher call. Uh, if Keenan Allen sits, I go Mike Williams. Yeah, otherwise, I would go the other other side of that. A PPR, Flex, Sony Michelle or Gus Edwards? Uh, Gus Edwards has been the top three running back the last few weeks with Lamar Jackson. Uh, Gus Edwards is, is nearly a lock for 100 yards and, and a chance for a touchdown. I would go with Edwards. Pick three. All right. PPR. Amari Cooper, Alshon Jeffrey, Mike Williams, Josh Reynolds, Corey Davis, or Curtis Samuel? Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Cooper for sure. Uh, I think I heard Robert Woods in there. Um, uh, and I go with Josh Reynolds is, uh, in there as well. All right. This is from uh, Wally with the Main Street Band. He wants to know Watson or Brady? I would go Watson, not just because we have him ranked higher, but I think that he can scramble more than Brady, who has a 1,000 career yards. Watson probably has 1,000 yards already. I'm not sure about that. But that running upside is definitely a plus for Watson. All right, a couple more real quick. Uh, Jalen Samuels as an RB, uh, too good? I think so. I think we're going to see uh, him as the starter for Pittsburgh this week. All right. Uh, also, what's going on with the Dolphins' backfield? Ah, good. Well, I think we have – Kalen Balaj is the running back, too. He's going to drop in for Frank Gore, who went to IR. I think Drake and Balaj are going to be split in time, but it's Jacksonville. That's the tough part. I think I, I've got Balaj as a flex. Uh, I put Drake in as a running back, too. All right, uh, Jeff Espino, footballguys.com, helping us out all season long with your fantasy football questions. Jeff, who are some of your favorite plays under the radar sleepers this week? Under the radar, I think Tevin Coleman for Atlanta. Carolina is sitting Cam Newton, so if you need a quarterback, you might go to Carolina if you're really desperate. But Tevin Coleman is a solid running back one, or, uh, slash one, slash two with upside. Elijah McGuire was mentioned earlier. He's also right in that same category, top 20 running back. Uh, wide receiver, a couple of names we haven't talked about. Um, Tim Patrick for Denver. I think on Monday night, he's seeing a ton of targets. He's probably on waiver wires. Pick him up and plug him in as a wide receiver three. Dante Pettis has been on fire for the 49ers. The, the teams that are kind of lower get overlooked. He's solid. As is Robert Foster as a flex option. It's Buffalo against New England. It is going to be garbage time in that game. And I think that Robert Foster is probably going to get plenty of catches that week. Uh, also, uh, Eric Ebron for tight end. And also, if you're desperate for tight end, and it's been a rough year for that, uh, Ian Thomas is, is, is tied too much to Cam Newton, but I would go to Matt Lacoste for Denver. Oakland's one of the worst teams against tight ends, so Matt Lacoste could be a sleeper, get you a, tight, a touchdown on Monday night and save your season. There you go. Jeff Pasquino, championship round for many. You know, you just brought up a couple of wide receivers. Like, I have, like, Cortland Sutton, and I got to go with Chris Hogan because of Gar uh, Gordon. Uh, are any of the guys you mentioned better than those options? Uh, I like I like Sutton, and I also like uh, with with the news about Gordon going away for again for indefinitely for the drug problem. I think both the guys you mentioned are better. I think Patrick is uh, a solid wide receiver three with some upside, but he's the number two wide receiver for Denver. Okay, uh, Jeff Pasquino, footballguys.com, helping us out again all season long. Good luck to everybody in their championship games, and good luck to you, Jeff. Good luck to everybody. Enjoy the games and happy holidays.